hello guys welcome back to coding cafe so now in this video tutorial we will work on our sign in.php file we will allow user to log into their uh, profiles and chat with their friends and families members okay so for that what we will do is to create a new file and the file name will be sign in underscore user so let's just first do that it will be saved in the main folder my chat and the name is sign in underscore user dot php it's user so here is our file let me just close all of that files okay so inside the sign in underscore user dot php file what we will do open up a php tags and inside this tags uh, we will start a session and after that we will include the connection.php file include so it's in the include folder and the file name is connection.php we will add a semicolon at the end so after that we will add an if condition and uh, inside this if condition we will say if I set dollar underscore post and then sign in dot php not sign in dot php it's sign underscore in the button name is sign underscore in and after that we will just close that and now we will first take the email from the user so we already did that on the sign up underscore user so we will just copy that email and password both of them and we will paste it right here and we will just change this to email this one also to email and we will remove that underscore user and uh, the variable name will be dollar pass okay that's it and after that what we will do is to create a variable select underscore user it will be equals to select all from the users table where user underscore email will be equals to dollar email and user underscore password will be equals to user underscore password will be equals to the variable name dollar pass and then we will add a semicolon and after this we will create a variable query and it will be equals to my SQLI underscore query. We will add a brackets. We will pass the connection variable and then the select underscore user. And after that, we will create another variable check underscore user. And we will type that mysqli num underscore rows we will pass the query variable right here and after that what we will do is to add an, an if condition and inside this if condition if uh, check underscore user is equal equals to one so if the email is found in the database then we will start the session for that user so we will type that dollar underscore session and then we will pass the email and email will be equals to the variable name email semicolon after this we will update and we will get an update underscore message 
and uh, that will be equals to my SQL I underscore query and then brackets we will pass the connection variable and then we will type that uh, update the users table set log in log underscore in to to online so in this way we are changing the user status to offline and online so if the user just click on the sign in button the login let me just show you this login column will be changed to online okay so it will show to the other users that uh, the user is online and for the offline i will show you in the upcoming videos that i how we will change the status to offline so and the next thing we will do is to equal the user underscore email to the variable email and then a semicolon so it will change the user status to online so after that what we will do is to create a variable dollar user and uh, it will be equals to dollar underscore session and then the user underscore email semicolon and after the user we will get a variable get underscore user it will be equals to select all from the users table where user underscore email will be equals to dollar user and then a semicolon at the end and after the get user variable we will create another variable run underscore user it will be equals to my SQL i underscore query and then we will pass the connection variable and then the get underscore user variable and after that we will create a variable row and it will be equals to dollar row will be equals to my sql i underscore fetch underscore array and inside this we will pass the run underscore user variable and then we will create a variable user underscore name it will be equals to dollar row and then the user underscore name so in this way we will get the username from the database and i think we will just echo to a user that we will not echo something we will just uh, redirect the user to the home.php file i mean inside the user's own profile okay so for that what we will do is to type that window dot open and then home dot php question mark user underscore name will be equals to dollar user underscore name variable which we create up there okay this one and then we will say that underscore self so inside or let's just say outside the if condition we will create an else condition and inside this else condition we will type echo and inside this echo tag we will uh, create a div and uh, the div class will be equals to alert hyphen 
और alert alert hyphen d a n g e r danger and inside this div we will open up a strong tag and inside this strong tag we will say that check mm, check your email and password okay so i think our sign in underscore user dot php file code is now done let me just check it okay so i think it's got no errors now let's just give it a try so before we just try this first we will create a home.php file in the main folder we will save this in the main folder in the my chat folder and the file name will be home.php right here and for now we will just echo that oops we will echo that welcome home that's it so now let's just give this a try so if we get back to our sign in dot which we file and i will first enter my email and then my password and if i just click in on this sign in button it just did nothing okay so it means that it got an error let just first check the button name the button name is sign in and right here the button name is sign underscore in so the button name is correct and i think we need to remove this comment tags from there and now it will definitely work so if i just refresh my page and I just now enter my email again and then my password and if I just click on this sign in button okay so it got okay so we just spell that incorrectly on line 13 where is line 13 right here U S E R it's user now let's just give it another try so we'll just click on this sign in button boom it just redirect us to the home.php file and uh, my name is Alishir as you can see is in the database okay so I think now our login and sign up session is now done and in the next video tutorial we will work on this home page we will design this page and after that we will type the PHP code from the home page okay guys so stay tuned for that and uh, subscribe our channel coding cafe and don't forget to press the bell icon to stay updated with our latest videos so that's it and uh, thank you guys